Hi guys, I'm back and I'm continuing unboxing the bin of Disney memorabilia that um, I've been going through with COVID cleanup. So um, I just did another video on some of the shirts that I had in my little bin of memories. And we're just gonna continue. So if you wanna watch that one, that's great. Um, but we're gonna continue on on this bin and see what we have in here um, in addition to those shirts. So the first thing I see here is a Baymax, Baymax stuffed toy. And you're like, well, just in a way do you have this Baymax stuffed toy? Somewhere down in this bin is probably a button for United Way. You can see where it went right here that I put him on. And um, he was one that I was a United Way champion when we were fundraising and I actually got a Baymax. And so that's why he's in there. So we'll set him here. All right, all right. So we have a interesting box. It says personal 1993 on it. Not sure what's in here, but let's see. We'll flip it open. Oh, we have some, some stuffing, so. Oh, okay, so we have some things that are breakable in here. Um, this is actually a mixture of Disney and other personal items, I guess, little trinkets I wanted to keep. Um, oh, these are cool. So what these are, they're, they're pens. And I don't know if you can see them well. They say Pooh's Quest for Honey, and there's two different year dates on them. Um, we actually, in the Magic Kingdom merchandise, we had a team of us who worked on a trivia quest for our cast members and just to, and they would get spoonfuls of, spoonfuls of the honeys as points. Um, not, you know, it was, it was not real honey. It was just, that's what we called them for the points. <clears throat> um, but cast members and teams would go around Magic Kingdom um, to get themselves familiar with the, with the park. And also the merchandise offered in different locations. So they would, they would quest for the honey and it was a, a trivia book they had to complete and then we had a big celebration afterwards so so those were pins that everyone got for participating that's really cool that's really cool um we have holiday tickets so for a long time we would get holiday tickets um for uh, to visit the parks during holiday season so usually from october to february um, and we would get hard ticket admission, so you know it had our name on it, which was pretty cool. So they're always nice to have in a scrapbook, so I need to get that one in a scrapbook. Um, we have a little pin here, a little recognition pin, Disney Helping Hands. So that's in there. Um, oh, this is so cool. It's one of my, it's my business card when I was a cast service manager. Um, so that's really neat. Um, I was a cast service manager in the Magic Kingdom for several years, um, supporting merchandise and other lines of businesses. Um, great team, great job. Um, I still wish we had it, um, but as business changes, of course, we have to change with it. So there, that was that was a lot of times. So, oh, here's a 2000 button. Everybody remember 2000 and the lights did not go out? There we go, there's a button for it. All right, and some other stuff, I mean, just some personal, I used to collect um, thimbles. So there's a selection of thimbles here and I love little, um, little like pill boxes, um, vintage pill boxes. So there's that one here. And um, that's about it, other than a painted rock that somebody gave me, Josanna, a little rainbow on it. That's pretty cute. So. 19 oh so this was pre-disney this was 1986 so diana and i wished i i had kept in touch with her because she was a great person it's got a scripture reference on the back um we did missions together so that was from a missions trip and it was awesome uh, and where did we go we went to um indiana so <laughs> the the great state of Indiana, had a blast, was there three months, um, and we did a lot of like backyard Bible school stuff, so that's what was in the little red box. We're going to set that there, and oh, we have a plastic bin, so I can already see what's in this one, if I can get this open, 
And this is kind of cool. Um, I have my some of my magic bands are in here. So this was my original magic band. I chose yellow because yellow's happy. Um, but they had our name on them. This was a cast member exclusive. Well, not exclusive. The color wasn't, but the box um, was our cast member exclusive box. So that's really cool. Um, a couple of other magic bands are in here. So this was probably this was my first one after um, the original. I love the little little Mickey Americana. Um, my current one is Mary Poppins. So. Um, I have a Mary Poppins one. Um, oh, we have some watches in here. So we used to get watches um, in recognition for different things. So I've got three in here um, in this little bin. So we have the Disney Fair. And the Disney Fair, if you don't know what that was, the Disney Fair was a um, traveling um, touring company. We had an interactive game area for people. We had a stage show that had 66 different characters in it, which was a blast. And there was also merchandise and food and beverage. So it was actually pretty cool that we, we got to do that and go on tour. We, we went to um, Puyallup, Washington um, for the, uh, I forget, it's one of the state fairs in Puyallup. Um, we went to Arizona State Fair, which was great. And we got to do the, <clears throat> the premiere for the Hunchback of Notre Dame in New Orleans, um, which was really cool because we took a whole parade um, and we had little merchandise booths set up on the parade route. Um, but yeah, we took a whole parade um, that you would normally see in the Magic Kingdom and it was in the French Quarter um, with the Hunchback of Notre Dame being premiered at the Super Bowl. So, so that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, I have one here, it says Casting Scout Watch. So I was a casting scout several years in a row, um, which, you know, it's, it's, it's vital that we find great cast members at Walt Disney World. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and what was this one? Oh, we had a cast holiday celebration one. So that was the cute little Mickey and Minnie one. So that's those three watches in this little blue bin. All right, what else? Oh, okay. So what else we have here? Wow our media, our event credentials. I mean, lots of event credentials. This whole, the rest of this whole bin is event credentials. And so this was actually my 30th year anniversary celebration last year. Um, so that was in December. Had a great time with my sister. Um, we had a hundred, uh, there's a hundred years of magic. That was actually my parking pass. So I probably should have turned that back in. Um, Night of Joys, I did a lot of Night of Joy um, events and I absolutely loved them. And most of them that I did, I got to be with a DJ here in our local Christian radio station, Z88.3. <clears throat> so if you're in the Orlando area and you're looking for a great Christian radio station, Z88 is the place you wanna be. Um, but they also have other stations as well in their family. So if you're coming to Orlando and you'd rather have an urban sound, go online check them out and see what their urban station is. But I usually got to hang with Tim Wolf, who is an amazing um, person. He, his, he and his family are so wonderful. But Tim is has done a great job with getting other, um, uh, other genre of Christian music um, in the area, everything from the urban sound to, to rock. So great job, Tim love you so that was so a lot of those night of joys um we got fun ones like 100 year of magic that actually used to light up i'm sure if i changed the battery it'd probably light up again um what else do we have here oh this one is very 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 special um and this was an event that happened january 19th uh, 20, 2012 and you may ask yourself well, oh my gosh what's so special about january 19th 2012 well, that was the day that the President of the United States, President Barack Obama, came to visit the Magic Kingdom. And it was, it was a huge, it was a special day. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, working cast had to have credentials that day. You just couldn't come in. Um, had a lot of wonderful friends of mine who actually got to um, be 
closer to the president than I was. I was I was like a land away. I could see him from Liberty Square um, to Main Street. That was as close as I could get. But all in all, to have a president visit um, your area that you work at is is pretty special. So we had a great time. Um, more Night of Joy collaterals from different years. Um, there's there was a resort showcase one. That was a lot of fun. That was a radio one, so it was showcasing the different resorts. But anyway, this whole bit, this whole little bit, blue bin, the rest of it is is um, different events. And this one's pretty. This was my 25th, one of my 25th lanyards, and it lit up. So that was one of my my 25th anniversary service service lanyard. Um, so event, so that lit up. It doesn't light up anymore. So. All right, so that's what's in this bin so far. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video, and we will be doing another video for everything else that's left in the bin. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please go back and look at the others, and if you have questions or comments, please make sure that you are letting me know those. Thank you.